Hi everyone, welcome to Think and Derive. In this video tutorial, we have a square plus b square plus c square equal to 27 and a plus b plus c equal to 9. So we need to find the value of a and b and c. So let's try out this. First of all, let's make this equation number first and equation number second. To keep it simple, I will directly squaring equation 2 on both sides. So we'll have a plus b plus c whole square equal to 9 square. Now from the left hand side, this a plus b plus c whole square is an algebraic identity which is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus twice a b plus twice b c plus twice a c which is equal to 9 square that is 81. Now look at this a square plus b square its, uh, its value is already given in equation first. So let us substitute this value. So this is 27 plus twice a b plus twice b c plus twice AC equal to 81. Now let us bring 27 to right hand side. This is 2AB plus twice BC plus twice AC equal to 81 minus 27. So twice AB plus twice BC plus twice AC is equal to 81 minus 27 is equal to 54. Now let's let's make this equation number third. Now after that we will multiply equation first by 2 on both sides. So we will have twice a square plus b square plus c square equal to 27 into 2 which is equal to now multiply 2 by these 1 by 1. So this is twice a square plus twice b square plus twice c square equal to 27 into 2 is 54. Now twice a square can be written as a square plus a square. Similarly, this can be written as b square plus b square plus c square plus c square equal to 54. Let's make this equation number fourth. Now we have equation number third and equation number fourth. So we'll subtract equation 4 minus equation 3. We'll subtract these equations. So we will have a square plus a square plus b square plus b square plus c square plus c square um, minus 2ab minus 2 bc minus 2 ac equal to 54 minus 54 which is equal to 0. To further simplify this we will rearrange the terms here. First of all we write a square plus b square minus 2ab that is a square plus b square minus 2ab then we will write b square plus c square minus uh, 2bc plus b square plus c square uh, minus 2bc and then we'll write a square plus c square uh, minus 2ac a square plus c square uh, minus 2ac which is equal to 0. Let's put this under brackets. If you know, uh, these are all the algebraic formulas here. a square plus b square minus 2ab is equal to a minus b whole square. Similarly, this is equal to b square plus c square minus 2bc is equal to b minus c whole square. And, and similarly, a square plus c square minus 2ice ac is equal to a minus c whole square which is equal to 0. 
now two cases arise here first case is if a minus b is not equal to 0 b minus c is not equal to 0 and a minus c is not equal to 0 and case number second is if a minus b equal to 0 b minus c equal to 0 and a minus c equal to 0 from the case first if we consider a minus b not equal to 0 similar to these two that means this expression from the left hand side will always be greater than 0 but from the right hand side this is equal to 0 so this case is not possible so the only possibility is if a is a minus b equal to 0 and b minus c is equal to 0 and a minus c equal to 0 that means if a equal to b comma b equal to c and c is equal to a and a is equal to c which further means if a is equal to b equal to c so this is the only possibility now let's substitute this in equation in equation second that is a plus b plus c equal to 9 so we will have uh, 3a equal to 9 from the equation second that means a will be equal to 9 by 3 that means a will be equal to 9 by 3 is 3 similarly b, b will be equal to 3 and c will be also equal to 3 Thanks for watching this video and if you like this video, don't forget to share it with your friends. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye bye.